Hi! In this screencast, I'll show you how to create your first Enterprise Java Beam and how to access it using Test Client. Okay, we'll be using GBoss Developer Studio and GBoss Application Server version 6. Let's start. First of all, we need to create Enterprise Java Beam project. Let's do this. Engineer project. Let's call him EGB test app. Uh, we'll use 3.1 version GBoss runtime. Okay. Uh, here we go. As you can see, GBoss Developer Studio does a lot of internal stuff automatically. Let's create uh, some package. Let's call it SRC. Now let's create a simple bin inside our package. Uh, let's call him my first EGB. It will have remote interface, uh, transaction type container. Okay, here we go. Let's start from our remote interface. Let's add some methods, contract methods. Uh, let it be do something and. Uh, get description okay now let's provide implementation for our remote interface add an implemented methods do something I'd like to put something on screen when client calls do something so let's add some logging logic private logger log get logger we'll be using gboss logging logger instead of apache log for g okay my first first gb dot class okay let's put something into our log login file Okay, do something. Oh, has been called. Okay, now let us return something from get description method. Um, let's return get description has returned some value okay finally let's provide GND naming descriptor in order our clients uh, in order to, in order to allow our client to access enterprise Java beam using GNP GND uh, remote binding GND binning. Let's call him bin1. Uh, this stuff is needed because uh, GBoss application server ignores uh, map name attribute, uh, map name uh, property inside stateless attribute. Okay, uh, we're almost ready with our enterprise Java bin. Let's start our application server. Here we go. We are starting it. Let's look through console. Okay. It may take a while, but I'll suggest you to restart your application server in case you deploy some 
been because in current version of GBoss application server there are some bugs, there is some buggy functionality and uh, when I deploy several bins with the same uh, remote binding and GNDI binding property it shows some exceptions so we are waiting until our GBoss application server will start okay GMS started standard port okay okay what yes GBoss application server now started as you can see in the servers tab panel GBoss runtime server status started synchronized Okay, let us deploy our EGB test app by simply dragging it into the server. Again, okay. let's look through the console. Okay, our bin has been successfully deployed under GBoss application server with. Uh, bin 1 gnd binning now let's create our client and access our bin we will create simple java project project java java project let's call him uh, my first egb client okay okay no. Let's add class here. Class. Let's call him EGB test client. Generate main. And let's start working with our client. First of all, we need to create initial context. I'm using default constructor here because I'd like to provide initial context properties using GND parameters file. First, let's add row declaration. Okay, in order to look up, to use lookuping of our context, we need to add GNDI properties file which will describe some parameters of our con let's do this again okay. new other file gnd properties let's switch to source view and i will paste here some text okay we are using naming context factory here. Uh, our provider is located uh, on the same machine we are running uh, our client, local host, and the port is 1099. Okay, let's test it. But before, let's print some message. Ouch. Okay. Context. Look up. Ouch. Finished. Finished. As you can remember, we created remote interface for our bin inside EGB test application. In order to use our enterprise java bean we should reference our client application against egb test app let's do this okay we'll go java build path 
switch to project tabs and select GB test app. Okay. Now we can use our initial context in order to look up through to look up for our uh, enterprise Java Bean remote interface proxy. Uh, let's do this. My first EGB remote proxy equals to let's cast it context look up okay here we will use our gnd binning from our original bin implementation here it is let's print class information of our proxy proxy get class to string okay and now let's call get description method system out print line mm. proxy get description okay we've got another one method do something let's call him do something okay we are almost ready uh, before we run our application let's, let's reference it against additional jar file Okay. Java build path, external jars. I'm using actually Java GBoss uh, application server home directory client. Uh, GNP GNP client. Here it is. Okay. Let's start our application and test whether it works or not uh, run as java application and let's look through console yes it works but let's switch to the console of our client first of all we've created our initial context using its default constructor. Then we called context, context lookup uh, and provided bean map name, map and name. Uh, okay. Then we printed its class and called get description method. Let's look through the implementation. Do something, get description. Yes, our client has connected to GBoss application server called get description and it returns some value. Now let's continue. We called proxy do something, but this method, method is executed on the uh, enterprise uh, GBoss application server. So we should look through server logs let's switch again okay. here it is uh, we called our do something on client and uh, it was executed on the application server yes here it is thank you very much see you soon